Deep in the heart of the Russian Far East, a legend prowls the snowy forests. A creature of beauty and power, the Siberian Tiger, also known as the Amur Tiger, reigns supreme in these icy realms. Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the truths about these magnificent big cats. Known for their striking orange and black stripes, the Siberian Tiger is not just an icon of the wild, but a symbol of survival against all odds. Once roaming vast territories, the Siberian Tiger now faces the threat of extinction. With a population reduced to around 560 in the wild, every tiger counts in the fight for survival. They're the main spans across the Russian Far East, with a few crossing borders into China and possibly North Korea. These tigers have adapted to one of the harshest climates on Earth, showcasing their incredible resilience. But how big are these majestic creatures, really? Join us as we delve into the world of the Siberian tiger, separating fact from fiction and exploring the fascinating findings of modern science. Let's turn back the pages of time to an era when the Siberian tiger was shrouded in mystery and myth a time when tales of their size were more folklore than fact. In the absence of scientific study, early accounts of the Siberian tiger's size were often the stuff of legend. Hunter's tales, passed down through generations, spoke of colossal beasts with weights and sizes that defy belief. Imagine a world where stories told of Siberian tigers weighing as much as 384 kilograms. These accounts, while captivating, were unverified, often embellished by the pride of the hunt. These tales wove their way into the fabric of popular culture, painting the Siberian tiger as a near mythical creature. But how much truth lay behind these grandiose stories? As we journey from the past to the present, we find ourselves at the crossroads of myth and science. It's time to uncover the truth behind these legendary tales and reveal the real size of the Siberian tiger. Our story now ventures into the challenging terrain of early research, a time when the mysteries of the Siberian tiger were as vast as the wilderness they roamed. Imagine trying to unravel the secrets of a creature as elusive as the Siberian tiger. In an era without modern technology, researchers face daunting obstacles. Remote habitats, harsh climates, and the sheer rarity of these majestic cats. With direct observation, a rarity, scientists often had to rely on the accounts of hunters. But these stories, steeped in the thrill of the chase, were more anecdotal than analytical, more boastful than factual. Without the tools we take for granted today, early researchers navigated a world where tracking a tiger meant relying on footprints and whispers of sightings. The true size of the Siberian tiger remained an enigma, failed by the limitations of the time. But as the wheel of time turned, so did the fortunes of tiger research. The advent of new technologies and a renewed focus on conservation ushered in a new era, one where the veil of mystery began to lift. As the curtain rises on the modern chapter of our tale, we witness a groundbreaking shift. Enter the Siberian Tiger Project, initiated in 1992 by the Wildlife Conservation Society and the Psychot Alin Reserve. This ambitious project marked a new dawn in tiger research. Armed with cutting-edge technology and a commitment to conservation, scientists set out to uncover the truths about the Siberian tiger. Utilizing radio telemetry and other advanced techniques, the team embarked on a journey of discovery. Every movement, every behavior of the Siberian tiger was meticulously recorded, analyzed and understood. 
The findings were revelatory. Gone were the days of guesswork and exaggeration. The project unveiled that the average wild male Amur tiger weighs around 190 kg, a far cry from the mythical sizes of law. This newfound understanding was more than just numbers. It was a beacon of truth, guiding conservation efforts and reshaping our perception of these majestic creatures. In the heart of the Siberian wilderness, the Amur tiger, a symbol of untamed beauty, roams with a presence that commands respect. But just how large is this regal creature in the wild today? Thanks to the relentless efforts of the Siberian Tiger Project, we now have scientifically verified answers. The veil of mystery has been lifted, revealing the true stature of these magnificent big cats. The average weight of a wild male Amur Tiger, as per the latest findings, stands at around 190 kg. This figure, grounded in rigorous research, dispels the myths of old offering a clear-eyed view of these majestic predators. Among the tigers studied, the largest specimen captured weighed in at 206 kg, while the heaviest radio-collared male tipped the scales at 215 kg. These figures represent the upper echelons of size within the wild population. As we weave through the tapestry of time, a striking contrast emerges between the Siberian tigers of legend and the creatures of scientific reality. In days gone by, hunters' tales painted the Siberian tiger as a behemoth, a creature of almost mythical proportions. Reports boasted of tigers weighing upwards of 384 kg, capturing the imagination but eluding the grasp of reality. Fast forward to the present, where the lens of modern science brings clarity. The Siberian Tiger Project, with its meticulous research, reveals a more grounded truth. The average wild male Amur Tiger, a formidable predator in its own right, weighs around 190 kg. This discrepancy between past and present is a tale of two worlds, one of unverified claims and the other of empirical evidence. It's a reminder of how far we've come in our quest to understand these majestic creatures. In the unfolding saga of the Siberian tiger, a curious chapter beckons our attention. It's a story of change, not just in numbers, but in the very essence of these majestic beasts. A prevailing theory suggests that today's Siberian tigers are, in fact, smaller than their ancestors. This change is attributed to a history marred by hunting, poaching, and the resulting genetic impoverishment. In times past, the largest and most impressive tigers were often the targets of hunters and poachers. This selective pressure over generations may have led to a gradual decrease in size, as the genes for larger stature became less prevalent. Genetic impoverishment refers to the reduction in genetic diversity, a crucial factor for the health and adaptability of any species. For the Siberian tiger, this loss could mean not just a change in size, but also a vulnerability to environmental challenges and diseases. Moreover, the shrinking of their natural habitat and the scarcity of prey also play a role. These environmental pressures can further influence the physical development of these tigers, contributing to the observed size reduction. As we journey through the annals of tiger history, we encounter a trove of records from the early to mid 20th century. These accounts, while not strictly scientific, offer a window into the world of the Siberian tiger as it was seen in a bygone era. Among these records are observations by naturalists and explorers, individuals who chronicled their encounters with these majestic creatures. Their descriptions, grounded in first-hand experience, provide a more credible account of the Siberian tiger's size and behavior during this period. 
Photographic evidence from this era, though limited in its ability to convey exact sizes, offers a visual testament to the presence and general physique of the Siberian tiger. These images, frozen in time, give us glimpses of a world where these tigers roamed more freely. Records from zoos and wildlife reserves of the time also contribute to our understanding. While the conditions of captivity differ from the wild, these controlled environments allowed for more consistent observations and measurements. While we must approach these historical records with a critical eye, they nonetheless serve as valuable pieces of the puzzle. They bridge the gap between anecdote and empirical evidence, shedding light on the Siberian tiger's past. In the realm of the Siberian tiger, myth often intertwines with reality, giving birth to misconceptions that have echoed through time. Today, we unravel these myths and align them with the truths revealed by science. One enduring myth is the colossal size attributed to these tigers, with some tales suggesting weights far exceeding reality. While the Siberian tiger is indeed a formidable predator, the true scale of its size is often lost in the shadow of these exaggerations. The journey from myth to fact is often slow, especially in popular culture. Websites, books, and even documentaries have been slow to update their information, perpetuating outdated beliefs about the Siberian tiger's size and behavior. Media and education play a pivotal role in shaping public perception. As we gain new scientific insights, it's crucial that these channels disseminate accurate and updated information, helping to dispel myths and foster a deeper understanding of these majestic creatures. Misconceptions can have tangible impacts on conservation efforts. Understanding the true nature of the Siberian tiger is essential in crafting strategies that address their real-world needs and challenges. In the world of the Siberian tiger, a curious phenomenon unfolds within the confines of captivity. Here, in a world far removed from the harsh Siberian wilderness, these tigers often grow larger than their wild brethren. Why do these captive giants surpass the size of their wild counterparts? The answer lies in a blend of factors unique to their captive environment. Unlike the unpredictable wild where every meal is hard won, captive tigers have a steady supply of food. This abundance and regularity, coupled with high calorie diets, contribute significantly to their increased size. In the wild, a Siberian tiger's life is one of constant movement and challenge. In captivity, however, the need for such strenuous activity diminishes. This reduction in physical exertion often leads to weight gain. Moreover, the Siberian tiger, adapted to survive in the frigid climes of Siberia, is genetically predisposed to store more fat. This trait, beneficial in the wild, can lead to larger sizes in the more comfortable conditions of captivity. While these captive giants may awe onlookers, it's important to recognize that bigger doesn't always mean healthier. Excessive weight can lead to health issues, a concern that caretakers must diligently address. As our journey through the world of the Siberian tiger comes to a close, we are left with a profound appreciation for the role of science in unraveling the mysteries of these majestic creatures. In the quest to understand the true size of the Siberian tiger, proven and reliable scientific data has been our guiding star. It has dispelled myths, corrected misconceptions, and provided a clear window into the reality of these magnificent big cats. Our exploration reveals that the size of the Siberian tiger is not a static trait, but a dynamic one, influenced by a myriad of factors. 
From the genetic legacy of their ancestors to the conditions of their current habitats, every aspect plays a role in shaping their physical stature. Under different environmental conditions, these tigers show a remarkable capacity for size variation. In the wild, their size is a testament to adaptation and survival, while in captivity, it reflects the interplay of nurture and nature. This understanding is crucial, not just for academic knowledge, but for the conservation of the species. Knowing the true nature of the Siberian tiger allows us to tailor our efforts to protect and preserve them for generations to come. As we bid farewell to the Siberian tiger, we carry with us a renewed sense of awe and respect. In the grand tapestry of nature, science remains our most reliable tool in understanding and preserving the wonders of the wild. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. May the spirit of the Siberian tiger inspire us all to cherish and protect the natural world.